continue our discussion on the three types of rocks, the igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. In this video, we will talk about the metamorphic rocks. Let's get started! Metamorphic rocks. The word metamorphic comes from the two Latin word meta means change and morph means form. It is a change in form into a new type of rock as a result of heat and pressure. Sedimentary, metamorphic, and even igneous rocks can become a new metamorphic rock when subjected to heat and pressure. The original or parent rock is called protolith. Metamorphic rocks are classified into contact metamorphism and regional metamorphism. Contact metamorphism. The word is actually from the contact. When you say contact, there is a touching of one object to another object. Here, rock changed because of contact with the heat. The heat we are talking about here is the heat from magma, the molten rock material inside the earth. Look at the examples in the image. The shale, a sedimentary rock, metamorphs into hornfills. Quartz sandstone metamorphs into quartzite. All right. Regional metamorphism. The word is just from the word region, meaning to say a specific area in the Earth's crust. Look at the images numbered 1 and 2 in the example. This is an illustration of two Earth's plates the region where metamorphism occurs. Image 1 shows a crack in the Earth's crust. This is called the plate boundary. Image 2. These two plates move towards each other. This movement creates an enormous pressure pressing the rocks. Over time, because of constant pressure, the rocks will change in form. There are two major types of metamorphic rocks. One is called foliated rocks. These are the rocks that have layers or bands. The other one is called the non-foliated rocks. These are the rocks that have no layers or bands. In the image below, you can see the foliated and the non-foliated rocks. All right, here are the common examples of metamorphic rocks and their transformation. The image here is arranged in increasing metamorphism. So let's start with a shale, a sedimentary rock. The shale metamorphs into a slate, and the slate metamorphs into a phyllite, and the phyllite metamorphs into a schist, and the schist metamorphs into a gneiss. Another example is the sandstone metamorphs into a quartzite. Alright, one more example here. Limestone metamorphs into a marble. And that's it for the metamorphic rocks. Thank you for watching.